Problem A. Taro and Alice had some sort of competition n times. The overall winner is the one with more wins. Or if they have the same number of wins, the one who reached that number first. Who is the overall winner? Just count the number of wins normally. And if it's a tie, the last one to lose wins. Of course, you could do it more straightforwardly. By the way, this problem was proposed by me. Problem B. There's a sequence of n integers. Fill in the gaps so that the numbers increase or decrease by 1. First, write the first number. Then fill in the gap between the first and second numbers. Write the second number. Fill in the gap between the second and third numbers, and so on. By the way, this problem was also proposed by me. Problem C. There are two strings made of lowercase letters and at sign. They are the same length. We want to make these two match. In each string, you can rearrange the characters freely. Each at mark can be changed to any of A, T, C, O, D, E, R. Is it possible to make them match? From here, pay attention to the time. Since you can rearrange them freely, the order doesn't matter. So first, count all the characters. Then, if there are same ones other than at sign, erase them. And do the rest properly. Letters that can't be matched with at sign must be equal in number from the beginning. And then you can use all the at signs to fill in the difference. Problem D. There's a pattern of 0, 1, and question mark. Change each question mark to 0 or 1. And make the largest number not exceeding the specified upper limit. First, if it exceeds the upper limit even if you change all question marks to 0, it's impossible. Otherwise, try changing them to 1 from the top. If it doesn't exceed the limit, adopt it, if it does, cancel it. Problem E. There's a maze with candy scattered. On the way to the goal within a certain number of steps moving up, down, left, and right. How many candies can you pick up at most? First, explore the maze and calculate the distance between every two things. Just do breadth first search for each thing. And then, it's you know what, right? It's the traveling salesman problem. If you think of the candies as companies, it's quite similar, so let's stop here for today. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.